It's a good one and maybe a, free, a preview of the NBA Finals. LeBron and the Lakers taking on Giannis and the Bucks. Pick it up in the first quarter and just watch Giannis here working. Anthony Davis gives him room and Giannis makes him pay. Knocking it down. He had 25 on the night. Later in the first, how about Giannis playing defense? LeBron to the basket. Giannis says no way. Bucks up four after one. Watch Giannis getting it done on the defensive side. But to the fourth we go. Good game. Lakers up five. It's Kyle Kuzma with the ball for the Lakers for LeBron, who spots it up and knocks it down. LeBron scored 34. Lakers up eight, under five minutes to go. It's Giannis working inside. Little turnaround action. Four minutes left. Bucks are within seven. Next Bucks possession. Take a look at this, and you tell me how this is not a walk. One, two, boom. Giannis up and good. They don't call it. That's not a walk. Bucks make a four-point game with a made free throw. Under three to play. The Lakers are up two. Good ball movement. K C. P in the corner three. He was seven of ten from three point range on the night. Lakers by five, and then LeBron looking for a dagger up by five. Final minute of the game. Spots up and knocks it down. Again, 34. Eight assists, six boards for LeBron. Giannis had 25 points and 12 boards, but a career high nine turnovers. And the Lakers come away with the win. And here's our guy, Tim Legler, who's here to break it down. I have two questions for you this morning, Legs. Let's just start with this. Are the Lakers at this point? just in a league of their own as far as how good they are and how good anybody else is. Yeah, they occupy a shelf unto themselves. There's no question about it because they're just too deep for most teams. And they also have great balance in what they do, Greeny, because they can attack you inside and in the post, and they seem to win all of those individual post-up battles. And I thought that's the way they started out the game against the Bucs. Milwaukee decided to play Anthony Davis straight up in the post. He went to work on them and scored at will. And then LeBron James beat him up pretty bad from the perimeter. And then that final component that you wondered about this Lakers team, would they get enough role-playing support three-point shooting? Well, they certainly got it last night. And this may sound nuts because it's a one-possession game with two minutes to go. The game wasn't that close. I just never felt – I watched every second of the game, and I never felt at any point that the Milwaukee Bucks were really in the game. And it was a two-point game with three minutes to go. That's how easy the Lakers made it look at times. And so that's why right now, because of their depth and because of their balance and the ways they can beat you offensively, they occupy a shelf unto themselves, and they're clearly the front runner to win a title. All right, so that's one side. And then on the other side, what do we say coming out of last night about the two-time defending MVP Giannis? A lot of the same things. He runs into the same issue sometimes because he lacks that finesse that the situation requires at times. And I understand he plays hard. He wants to oppose his will in the game. But you know, he commits four offensive fouls in the game because he's got one way he wants to beat you, and that's downhill with force. And sometimes if a team can get committed bodies in front of him, it creates props. Now, he had seven turnovers in the first half, green, nine overall for the game. And again, four of those on offensive fouls. And then you see late some of the issues with his shooting reared itself again. You see the air ball there from 18 feet. He also had a really ill-advised three-point shot um, early in the shot clock that just completely played into the hands of the Lakers and what they wanted to do. And then again, went to the line and missed a couple of free throws in an important situation. So we know how dominant he can be in the way he fills up a stat sheet. He's a two-time MVP for a reason, and he affects both ends of the floor. But the problem with this team surfaces every time you see him either in a tough playoff series or against a top opponent that's got a good defensive game plan. His inability to be able to use finesse, whether that means shoot over the top, shoot a mid-range shot, make plays off the dribble for other people, that's where he really struggles. And the Lakers allowed him to use that force against himself, uh, really, in that game. I think he wanted it a little bit too much. And the Lakers had plenty of bodies in that lane waiting for him. And it's still the big question mark for the Milwaukee Bucks. Can they break through if they don't have that guy that can beat you from anywhere on the floor in a, in a critical moment? Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.